Hundreds of women from all parts of Wales came all together to celebrate significant contributions ethnic minority women made to Welsh life. The event was held in Cardiff by Ethnic Minority Welsh Women Association to celebrate women who have struggled to achieve excellence in their own fields. I went there to find out how these women made it through. The award ceremony has been held in Cardiff City Hall where women from Africa, Asia and the Middle East were recognized as female role models. They were dressed up in their beautiful traditional dresses, all representing their countries of origin. The organization gave awards to 23 women of seven different categories, like arts, business, leadership, as well as young achievers. Women of ethnic backgrounds who had been victims of violence were also recognized. Sheila Jarrow has won an award for fighting violence against women. What I want to tell women who have gone through similar things like domestic abuse, early child marriage and, and female gender maintenance FGM is for them to be courageous. They shouldn't think this is just the end of their life, no. They shouldn't think, oh my gosh, everything is just collapsing because of my situation, no. I just want to let them know that they still have opportunity for them to move on with their lives. It's all about communication, because if they don't communicate what their problem is, they will, the feelings they have about that problem will not go off them. For the last 15 years, Leanne Rahman has offered opportunities for young people in the arts to inspire creativity and diversity of cultures. But who inspired Leanne to overcome the difficulties she faced in life? Um, so I had a fantastic mum who's got to be one of my biggest role models in my entire life. Um, wonderful teachers at school, so growing up with a fantastic headmistress, Betty Campbell. Um, and then going through you know, college, university, being able to reach those goals, um, which a lot of people in the community at the time never actually got to make it that far. So um, I'm quite pleased that I had those opportunities. I was able to grasp them. With such impressive nominees, was it difficult for the judges to decide the winners? As judges, what we're really looking for is that little something extra. And so it, it's, a lot of the people who have won awards tonight will have been active in their, you know, in their communities for many years. So we're looking for you know, that bit extra, but also a really sustained input over quite a period of time. Dr. Laila Jader, who is originally from Iraq, has been one of the very few women who have received the Life Achievement Award for her work in genomic medicine. She has campaigned for better health and education for all children. We need to accept that children has to be number one priority. Um, if we really are serious about reducing inequalities in health, and improving child poverty and uh, improving social mobility, uh, which hasn't, hasn't ha been happening, and um, uh, inc the future prosperity of this country. So I have been campaigning for that. There were also many colorful performances that presented the vibrant diversity of cultures, which make Wales a special place. It's quite ironic though to know that this huge event was organized by only a couple of women. I went to the organization office to meet its founder, Mina Abhadaya. It is a small organization. We don't have any paid staff, so due to lack of resources, we, we, we are restricted in our activities. We would like to do more, but because we don't have a specific person to do the work, the achievement of these women proves that Wales is still a land of multicultural opportunities for only those whose dreams prevail beyond their despairs. Yeah.